But now to a troublesome Christian, the head of the Anglican Church, Justin Welby, Archbishop of Canterbury. He's accused of turning a blind eye to a fraud, his church baptizing illegal immigrants from the Muslim Middle East so they can claim to be refugees from persecution. That's the claim of Reverend Matthew Firth to a Home Affairs Select Committee of Britain's Parliament this week. Week in, week out, um, uh, you know, significant groups of um, mainly Iranian and Syrian young male um, asylum seekers were being brought to me in, in sizable cohorts um, to, at a time sort of, um, you know, six or seven people brought, brought, brought to me um, uh, by, um, um, you know, people saying that these need baptism, the, these, these people need baptism. Joining me from London is Patrick Christie, star presenter at GB News, which its boss just uh, texted me to say has beaten rival Sky News, left wing, not this Sky News, Britain's Sky News, uh, six times out of eight days. So congratulations to you, Patrick. I've texted back. It's all about you. Um, what is the claim against Justin uh -huh. Welby? Yes, yeah, so the claim against Justin Welby is that he is at best naive, at worst complicit in a fake asylum seeker conveyor belt that is, frankly, allowing failed asylum seekers to pretend to convert to Christianity to game the Home Office and wider society in order to stay in Britain. So the allegation is that right across the Church of England, there are people who are fraudulently baptizing individuals at times there are quotes muslim men with bags of cash at the back of churches wheeling in these blokes <laughs> saying these need to be baptized these need to be baptized all of whom have previously failed their asylum claims by the way then you know a ready army of incredibly woke vicars are happy to do them the old dunk in the water and maybe confirm them and then never see them again this has been an issue because there was one chap who was lost by the church and re-emerged when he blew himself up outside a maternity hospital in Liverpool, Europe's largest maternity hospital. So there are serious security concerns here. There's also a wider concern, Andrew, as well, that now charities that specialise in failed asylum seekers are actually operating from within churches as well, using the church as an office. And what would happen is these people would get baptised, they would take a load of photos of them during the baptism, they would then, miraculously, pun intended, get a phone call from some lawyers to the church, putting massive pressure on the vicar, saying, do you know if this person gets deported back to wherever they're from in the Middle East, they're going to suffer uh, massive, massive persecution. We have to keep them in this country. It is a conveyor belt. It is, frankly, completely wrong. And it's actually dangerous as well for uh, a lot of people. And it's doing the opposite as well. I mean, if anything, it is aiding with the Islamification of Britain not actually doing anything to promote the Christian faith. But, well, these, uh, you know, these are allegations. Uh, have they been put to Archbishop Wel Welby? What's his response been? Yeah, so the response initially was deny, deny, deny. Now they're saying they're going to have an urgent review. What they will say is and are saying is that these are at best isolated cases. They do not recognise this situation entirely uh, and therefore they are going to have a, a look into it and we'll have to follow some form of due process. I think it's important to have a little bit of context here though about Archbishop Welby. He's dead against our Rwanda plan, which is looking to essentially deport uh, illegal immigrants to Rwanda. Um, he's also come out and said that that that's ungodly. He even referenced uh, the Nazis. I think when someone references the Nazis, you know that they've got really nothing else. But he did reference the Nazis in relation to our government's Rwanda plan in the House of Lords the other day. So this is the kind of guy he is. Massive pushback in this country against him, though, Andrew. Very recently, he was tweeting about he wishes everyone a happy Ramadan. Fine, nothing wrong with that. But he also tweeted about uh, the uh, Nigerian Christians who are being killed by Islamists. And it is Islamists. He refused to call them that. He called them gangs. So some people are very concerned that this guy is maybe a bit too woke uh, and, and isn't, isn't doing his best to, to stop this.